We're standing on the field of the World Series champions. It's totally lost on me. Yeah, I don't give a shit either. Hey. I'm Nicole Stein. I lead the growth team at Stern Taylor. Oh, I'm Dinesh. I'm Gil Foyle. I love it. So what do you two do at Pied Piper? I'm the CTO. Ah, uh, he's joking. I'm the CTO. Fuck you, I'm joking. OK. How could you be chief technology officer? I get it. You hear the word chief, and you think Indian chief. But you're the other kind of Indian. OK, one. Fuck you, I'm Pakistani. And two, how could you be CTO of anything? You have to be able to organize, you have to be able to delegate, you have to be... I delegate an... you to go get me a fucking beer while I talk to Nicole. George Silver, operating partner, Stern Taylor. So, what do you do with Pi Piper? He's the CTO. Yeah, yeah totally, I know. Thanks, Javid. No, I mean, they're watching you right now. Ah, uh, damn it, where is that camera? And that is the very first spot in our new campaign, heralding the upcoming release of Nucleus this January at CES. Any questions? I have a question. That was horrible. I just got humiliated by a fucking teenager at TechCrunch Disrupt, and you give me this tampon ad? A girl with diabetes on a swing. I think she has cancer. Mm. At least that's how I read it. I don't care what kind of disease she had. All I care about is that Nucleus is better than Pied Piper. Mr. Bachman, I didn't have you come all the way back here today just to apologize to me. Uh, please, it's Ehrlich, and you didn't? Of course not. I, uh, I asked you back because, well, three days ago, I sat right here, and I watched you put your testes on this reclaimed Brazilian koa wood table. And now you're going to sit there, and you're going to watch me do the same goddamn thing to you. My turn. I don't, but it's your table. Yes, it is my table. Oh, man. Good God. Please don't do that. How am I supposed to tell them this? In my experience, it's best to look a person in the eye and deliver the information with warmth and compassion. One other suggestion. Dress unattractively when you tell them. I, I, I read a study. The, the less sexual interest they feel for you, the less perturbing it will be. It sounds strange, but it's credible. May I suggest the, um, the beige ensemble in which you came to work Tuesday? Things are just really different at Raviga, and I had nothing to do with the decision. Guys, I'm... I'm so, so sorry. Wait, so the company that offered us the most until Richard talked them into offering us the least is now offering us nothing? But the fact that you're so sorry makes it all better. Uh, your behavior was boorish and juvenile. You were rude, vulgar, and uncouth. You were coarse, graceless, and puerile. Obscene, insulting, and ignorant. Ignorant? You called me a shit-riddled anal wasteland. You called me a chode, gargling, fuck toilet. We're really excited to be in business with you guys. Oh, yo, just want to thank everyone for coming out to this Kickstarter party for Bro, the app that proves that you can change the world in just one word. Actually, it's just half a word. I know. So efficient. Now, as you can see, we're just 5,000 away from our goal. Well, we got a whole hour left, people. So let's get those bro nations going. Donations are funny, right? I mean, why would anybody donate to something like bro and not a homeless shelter or schools? Cancer? That's still out there. Any of us could have it. Food for thought, which a lot of people also don't have. Have a great party, guys. You can donate if you want, but he's throwing away half the world's market. You know what bro means in Mandarin? It means asshole. You know what bro means in Portuguese? Rapist. In Latvian, it roughly translates to one who beheads the Messiah. In Finnish, bro means a baby's erection. In Urdu, bro is actually short for brochtavr, which means a dildo for a man. A man's dildo. Fecal eclipse. 
loses something in translation. We don't have a word for it. They do. It's bro. You know what bro means in Navajo? A really joyful person with mental disabilities. All right. Billionaires are people too. We are leaders in technology, in industry, in finance. Look at history. Do you know who else vilified a tiny minority of financiers and progressive thinkers called the Jews? Wait, wait, wait a minute. Did you just compare the treatment of billionaires in America today to the plight of the Jews in Nazi Germany? Absolutely. One could argue that billionaires are actually treated worse. And we didn't even do anything wrong. We're an even smaller minority. There's a lot more of them. These are facts. And then when you're really worth something, I'm gonna take you back to those same spineless VCs who said no, and I'm gonna shove you right up there, assholes. Um. Firstly, congratulations on finally being funded. I hope you took a little time out to enjoy this moment and celebrate. I certainly did. You did? I did indeed. I celebrated earlier this morning. You did? This morning? Oh, uh, yeah. <laughs> but did I see a McLaren 650S with the extra trim package pull into the driveway? Or did I not? <laughs> yep. So, this is the team. Uh, whoa. I'm just gonna say it. This guy fucks, am I right? Because I'm looking at the rest of you guys. This is the guy in the house doing all the fucking. Am I right? You know I'm right. This guy fucks. <laughs> Thank you. Hey, what's up, Al-Qaeda? No, I'm totally kidding. I'm diffusing the tension with humor. What tension? This tension? No, of course not. Seriously, no beheadings, though, right? Russ Hanneman, how you doing, motherfucker? <laughs> oh, man. I want to know what kind of fucked up childhood this guy had. <laughs> All right, fellas, what are we doing here? Uh, Mr. Hanneman, uh, I am Ehrlich Bachman. I am the owner and proprietor of this house. So I can give you a tour of the premises if you like, show you where the actual fucking happens. No, I'm good. Gavin, your visitors are here. Ah, gentlemen and lady, shalom alaikum. Thank you for coming today to open a dialogue. Now, if you'll follow me. In an effort to hardwire sensitivity into our corporate mind space, I'm having a scale replica of the Hall of Names at Yad Vashem constructed right next to the bike shop. All right, hit it hard, boys. This guy fucks. You know, Russ, I've been known to fuck myself. Morning. You put your soda cans in the green one, okay? That's not right. The green is for grass and leaves, okay? The blue one is for recycling. Go ahead and put those in there. Yeah. Very good. The black one is for all other trash. Do you understand? Yes. Which is for burning? No. We don't burn trash in this country. It's illegal. You never burn trash. Okay, can you say that? I never burn trash. I never burn trash. Yes. W what about garbage? Motherfucker. Are you shitting me? You see this, Richard? What is this? A spoon? It's a wide spoon. In fact, the only spoon type that is left in the store. I specifically posted a note on the refrigerator saying that the more narrow spoons be reserved for the eating of Faya yogurt by me. Look at this. The angle's all wrong. Aren't you supposed to just tip that little plastic cup part up and dump the jam into the yogurt? How would you know that? Have you been eating my Faya yogurts? No, I saw it on the billboards. Well, what they don't tell you on the billboards is that you can't get all of it out. Look at that. You have to dig it out, but you can't dig it out with these big as hell wide fucking spoons. This isn't about the spoons, is it, Ehrlich? This is about Jared Patakian. This is about me not letting you tell me who I can or can't hire. Or maybe it's about the fact that you're the one who's been using my narrow spoons. Okay. You and I both have to get ready for a board meeting. Can we just stop with the nonsense? Nonsense? Yeah. This is nonsense? Yeah. You know, half of the yogurt's gonna go unused because one quarter of the jam can't come out. 
All right, Jin Yang, don't talk to anybody else. And when we get inside, don't talk to me. Evening. Here's the... You. And how will you be paying, sir? Excuse me? Your donation. What's your preferred method of payment? Oh, uh, no. These are already paid for. We're guests of Russ Hanneman. Uh, yes. He reserved the tickets, but you have to pay for them. Oh, uh, okay. How much are they? 25000 Um, so for, but for both? No, no, no. Per ticket. Uh, there's no possible way that we can pay that, so what do we do here? Well, there are a number of other ways to help preserve the Muir Woods. We do a volunteer cleanup program every weekend. Yeah, I don't give a shit about the Muir Woods. I need to get in there. Sir, if you can't pay for the tickets, I really don't see how that's possible. What if we do, like, a little in and out thing? I just go in there, 10 minutes, you know, have one cocktail, two, three maximum. He doesn't eat. He won't eat. Yes, I'm hungry. Gentlemen, I'm going to need you to move aside for the other guests. You want me to email Russ Hanneman right now? Please, you don't please. have Russ's email. But I have his, I have, I have the phone number of the person who works in his office. Does anybody have an extra ticket? My investor cannot pay? That's actually not true. Uh, uh, they, I think they must have misplaced the tickets. No, we have everyone's tickets here. Can you please check? Eric Bachman, E-R-I-C-A-R. That's not at all how it's spelled here. Right, let's go, Jen. Have right, a nice go, night, Jen. thank you. Come on, Next. Come on, excuse me. Come on, let's go. Do you have a ticket? God damn it, Jin Yang, come here. Do you have a ticket? Hey, Jin Yang, how was, uh, how was last night? It was sad. Eric, he promised me Dingna was a big meat. Big meat? Big meat people. Meat people? Then people say, no, you can't come in. Wait, so you guys didn't get in? We went to Taco Bell. Eric, he starts crying in Taco Bell. He tried to play my taco sauce. Do you smell something burning? God damn it, Jin Yang! Status Center? It's actually pretty interesting if you're into that sort of stuff. Hello? Hey, stop talking immediately. Come inside. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Don't look at me. Just tell them that you shit your pants and you have weak knees. This is your home. Yes. So you live in the workplace, but you also work from home. It must be really confusing for you. Yes. As a matter of fact, it is. That's kind of the... the... Does it look dark to you guys? Oh, hey, guys. Dude, what the fuck? The power's out. OK, fine. I wanted to set up one GPU, just one, and so I turned the power on, and the whole system lit up, and... Yeah, it did, you dick. Because I bypassed the meter to save money and went directly to the feed without the UPS ready. That surge just fragged the whole fucking system. Holy shit. What the hell did you guys do? The power in the whole block is down. Great. What the? Oh, God, look who it is. We need to talk, guys. Hold on a sec. Noah, whatever you're going to say, just say it from there. We can hear you. If you didn't have so many cars parked here, maybe I could get through. It's really going to go all the way around? That's a long ways. Hold on. Jesus Christ, save some battery, for Christ's sake. Just a sec. Just yell it. It's OK, Noah, we get it. You can say it from there. You're going to report us to the city inspector, right? Jesus. Guess what? I'm reporting you to the city inspector. Right. It is 4 in the morning. What the? Why are you both wearing kimonos? Noah, are you familiar with the California Fish and Game Code, section 2116-2126, with regard to the possession and harboring of ferrets? Oh, God. Oh, yeah. Those little shits are illegal. Ehrlich, please don't. I'll, I'll, I'll do it. Oh, yeah, you will. We are here to stay, and you're going to keep that bearded little hole in the center of your face shut about it. Listen, I, I, I'm just trying to. No, no, no I... you listen. You're always going on and on about how this is such a good neighborhood. Do you know why it's such a good neighborhood? 
Do you know why your shitty house is worth 20 times what you paid for it in the 1970s? Because of people like us moving in and starting illegal businesses in our garages. All the best companies, Apple, Google, Hewlett Packard, even Aviato, all of them were started in unzoned garages. That is why Silicon Valley is one of the hottest neighborhoods in the world. Because of people like us, not because of people like you. So if I catch even so much as a dirty glance or a lascivious look in Richard's direction, that is it. Those weasels are dog food. Okay, okay. Um, uh, guest house. Yes. Is your guest house currently rented out? No, no it's, it's not for rent. Well, it motherfucking is now. Your new tenant is Jared Dunn. His rent will be exceedingly reasonable and his utilities will be included. He speaks German in the night. Well, if you'll excuse us, we have an illegal business to run. Ehrlich? Ladies and gentlemen, for the last 90 minutes, you've had an opportunity to explore a standard Huli phone upgraded with a brand new operating system called Nucleus. Thank you all for being here. Alan, Lisa, Josh, Yana, Katie, Ramon. Now I'd like to get everyone's first impressions. Who'd like to jump in? Anyone? How about you, Ramon? It's just stupid. Okay, so Ramon feels the phone is stupid. Could you elaborate, Ramon? Stupid how? Please, be as specific as possible, Ramon. Well, it's slow. The apps keep quitting on me. I tried to watch a movie, and it kept freezing up. And when I'm typing, like, there's a delay. Then all the letters pop up at once. You took a good phone, and you made it all, like, shitty. Keep in mind, I didn't design the phone. It pissed me off. I appreciate your honesty, Ramon. Well, it's that's okay just one guy's stuff. opinion. Who else feels this product is stupid? Alan, Lisa, Josh, Yana, Katie. And did it piss off anyone else? Alan, Lisa, Josh, okay. Yana, Katie. Christina, how bad is this? Be honest, is this Windows Vista bad? It's not iPhone 4 bad, is it? <laughs> Fuck. Don't tell me this is Zoom bad. I'm sorry, Gavin. It's Apple Maps bad. And who else felt this product is messed up? Alan, Lisa, Josh, yeah. I'm sorry for the disturbance, Alan, Lisa, Josh, Yana. You know what, double A? Ehrlich was right. You are an asshole. In fact, you're a double asshole. <clears throat> what did you call me? I, I called you a, a double asshole. Because, you know, you're being an asshole. Double A, double asshole. You know, you're twice the asshole. Twice whole. Double asshole. Oh, ew. Is that a, a colostomy bag? Do you have any idea what it's like to be 10 years old and carry your own shit around in a bag? To have two assholes? Sorry, I, I didn't know. Hey, Richard. We should go. Opportunities? Urinate on Blaine's grave? Grief threesome with Gina and Blaine's hot mom question mark? What the fuck? I didn't Richard, know, quickly. but I mean, you were being an asshole. OK, good, good luck. <laughs> to his face? You call them that to its face? How could you not mention the colostomy bag? <laughs> because it's a very private and personal matter. <laughs> it's not a laughing matter. But you called him double asshole first, remember, in college? Yeah, but not to his face. Never to his face. Not even I'm that fucking cruel. <laughs> but you are. <laughs> I'm actually not. You tore double asshole a third asshole. <laughs> Triple A. <laughs> Yeah, that was all my fault somehow. <laughs> the answer is no. Wrong. You do this deal or I pull your funding. Well, you can't pull funding because we have a contract, so. Oh, we have a contract? We have a fucking contract, Richard? You want to know what I have? Uh. A fucking car whose doors open like this. Not like this. Not like this. These are not the doors of a billionaire, Richard. 
Fuck you! Fuck you in the ass. The adult industry has always done lead. Pioneering cutting-edge interfaces across new device platforms like Oculus and iWAC will be the key to our survival as an industry. And based on their recent investment patterns, tech leaders such as Facebook agree. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the future. But we do have the kick-ass potato cannon, though. Although, actually, this one is, is broken. We tried to put a Mr. Potato Head in it, and it did not like that. Monica? Did you forget about Jin Yang and I's pitch? No, it was on my phone. You're talking to Benson or Hedges? <laughs> Am I right? Cigarette company. Clever. <clears throat> what if I told you there is an app on the market? No, not, not now. No, 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 you wait until you're inside, OK? We, we haven't even gotten the bottle of water yet. Water? What if I told you there is an app? No, no, Jing Yang, oh. this is the assistant. We wait for the boss to pitch. Yeah, you just fucked with the wrong hacker. There's, there's kids? Hey, I'm going to skull fuck your whole system. Fuck you, Gilfoyle. Oh, uh. Fuck you, Richard. Fuck all of you Pied Piper Fox! I actually don't, I don't know him. I'm just here uh, by myself. Just watching and waiting. I love kids. Not like that. So? Anton is really starting to sweat. Yeah, I still can't believe you gave the servers a man's name. Sorry, I couldn't remember your mother's name. Hey, why don't I just open up the garage door, let some fresh air in here? Yeah, sure. If you want the cooling system to shut down and everything in here to turn to magma, actually, with all the new servers I have running, we're about to max out the amperage and blow the main breaker anyway. Sooner or later, Guildfall servers are gonna fail and then it's all done. My servers could handle 10 times the traffic if they weren't busy apologizing for your shit code base. Oh yeah? Well, my code base could handle this traffic, fuck your mother, make a video of it, upload it, and even that video would not be Hey, recover. Pete. Mr. Bachman, I am Erling, sorry seriously. to drop in on you like this, but I have got the buyer. Shit, here. he's gonna drink his own piss. Sorry, Louise, this out. isn't a great time. I'm entertaining, and I have some minor cosmetic repairs to do before I show the house. Oh, no, they don't even need to look inside. They only want the property for the lot value. Lot value, meaning? You have to realize your house is a total teardown, right? They want to tear this place down? Go for the cash mechanisms. We're going to crash. I told you, get Ehrlich to do it. Uh, Richard said keep it on I can't do this by myself. <sighs> they want to make an offer right now. All cash, Mr. Bachman. I think you would be foolish to turn this down. Did you just call me a fool? No, all I meant was... Madam, do not call a man a fool on the transom of his own home. A home that happens to be the world headquarters of a company keeping streaming video of a man who's about to drink his own urine online for tens of thousands of Filipinos. Does that sound like foolishness to you? So, you can tell your clients respectfully that they may go fuck themselves. Okay, there's no way I could have squirted this lemon in your eye on purpose from this distance. I'm not a fucking lemon sniper. He'd be more of a lemon suicide bomber. 